guys, my name is Mushka and welcome to my channel Let's Organize. Today I'm, I am in my sister's house, room. She needed my help. She needed my help. Oh, come here, you can stay with me. She needed my help, so I came here to organize this bedroom and I'm so glad it's over. Oh my god, this is my lovely niece. She keeps her room clean, except her mom just messed it up now, but she'll have it cleaned. Um, Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a clip recorded of the attic, which we will be working on probably next week. Depends when I get time. And um, yes, yeah, stay tuned for that one. And I'm so happy this room is so fresh. Nothing under bed. All the dust is taken off. The only problem I have is the stuff that's on the window. But that's because we have no nowhere else to put it. Until she buys a table for her sewing kit. That's where that's going to go. But uh, it's still nice and neat. On the window, I'm happy with that. Perfect. Now, the attic is another story. That could take me a few days. Oh my God, it's so bad up there. But I'm, I'm excited. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment. I'm gonna say hi. Well, say hi. Hi. What's your name? Melissa. How old are you? Yay! Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, here's the before of my sister's bedroom, and here's under the bed. There's tons of stuff under the bed, and there's this wardrobe full of stuff. And this is what it looks like when I have everything cleared out. So please stay tuned to see how I cleared this room out. So first I got rid of stuff that's on the bed like shirts and stuff. And I'm just gonna fix the bed. Her pillowcases are not uh, matching her duvet which is annoying but she did change it in the end so here I am now taking all those things from underneath the bed now these baskets we actually bought them like last week but she clearly just left them under the bed if you want to sort stuff out for the attic as well but there's a lot of stuff that she kept under this bed it was full of dust and I already did this room good few weeks ago before I ever even thought I would be doing YouTube so now we are back for part two so here I am just taking all the stuff that's uh, my niece's things like paper like rubbish I don't even know what it is there's some pencils everything so I gave her that box to sort out herself well not yet but I will in a minute so I'm just going through all of these things. There's a lot of random stuff in here. So I do one box at a time, clear that and then move on. And stuff that's in this box is like, I don't know. Anyway, some of the stuff will be going back to the attic and will be staying up in the attic. Not all of it, just very few. The rest I found home for properly. The likes of these suitcases and stuff, we left them in the wardrobe because that's her husband's important stuff. So, And we got rid of a lot of other stuff. So any toys, any children's stuff I find, I put it in one of these boxes. And then I will give it to my niece and she will go through everything that she'll build what she doesn't need. So now I'm on to my sister's belt. So she said, no, I need all my belts. I'm not getting rid of any of them. So I was like, that's fine, that's fine. So I decided just to take them out. And she kept looking at them. And all of a sudden she decided that she didn't need half of these belts. And she's seen them on the bed somehow. I don't know. So she got rid of half the amount. So that box was empty. And we, we all, she already had these hooks on her wardrobe. So we hung them up and there is the belts that we got rid of and all the rubbish from all those bins on the bed and I found this 
pink box empty and she had a bag of photographs. So I just threw them all in there and she could sort that out herself. And now that's all those baskets ready to go up in the attic. When I'm doing the attic, I'm gonna need them all. And now, her jewelry was in this box. And she decided to get rid of almost, I think half of the amount actually. And some of, her, some of them were broken. See, all the box that's in the blue box is to keep and the other one was to get rid of. So she got rid of half the jewelry. Well, she donated whatever was able to be donated. Now all these round boxes. I don't like these round boxes at all. But anyway, she lost them. But they're empty now. So I made sure that they will be emptied. Now I went through that pink box and this is her husband's watches and stuff. So we got rid of some stuff. And I just put all his watches beside his bedside so you'll see what works, what doesn't work. Now I'm going through this wardrobe and I've taken all those boxes out. So whatever is rubbish, it's mainly cables, god like there's a lot of stuff that we ended up throwing out. A lot of the stuff here is her husband's that he doesn't even know he had. So I kept them all separate for him. So he could go through them. So I like to pile everything into groups here and that way I know what's what. So there was a lot of chargers and cables. Empty boxes from phones that are very old at this stage so they won't be needed in those boxes. Hopefully not anyway. Oops. So many digital cameras and stuff I found oh my god so I kept them all separately so her husband can go through them and see what's good what's not so he can get rid of them So yeah, all the sunglasses I found, that's hers, I put it in her side locker and all her husband's stuff so that way when they see they have a hundred of watches and sunglasses, they actually might decide that they don't need them all. <laughs> well, not a hundred, but anyway, a lot. And I took this pink box to put all these digital cameras and I don't even know what that is, so left them all for her husband to go through and now I'm going through these and I made sure I bent all these boxes paper boxes that we had because if we didn't bend them she'd end up using them again probably so they're all gone in the bin we found some stuff that her husband probably never knew he had <laughs> even though we went through this room before maybe a few months ago actually not a few weeks ago a few months ago I'd say and yeah that's all the random cables so what I did here I took the green box for just random cables keep them all together so when they need like a TV cable or something and we found an extra hot gun as well which they didn't know they had I'm sure so all the chargers for the phones Kind of, I kept them separate and then I found some car chargers which I put in this plastic thing for now but I think I put it in something else afterwards. And now all her hair like uh, stuff I put in this green box. She, she loves sewing so she has tons of sewing stuff and I know in the attic she has a lot of these things. So she needs to buy a nice table so she can keep all her sewing stuff together and her two sewing machines so that way well at the moment everything has a place so I'm quite happy with this but it's a temporary thing hopefully see I kept 
I change my mind like when I see something works better than and that's all the rubbish that came out which I think we had more than that but anyway so this is all clear now and I'm taking that apart because I'm gonna be using this up in the attic as a shelf and then I'll be putting boxes on to keep everything nice and neat and they didn't have a handle on their door but the handle was in the bedroom the whole time so I decided to do this myself it only took me a couple of minutes to actually fix the handle and it looks a hundred times better so yeah there you go done and I'm just collecting all this dust and big parts of rubbish before I hover. Look at all the dust that was underneath because it couldn't reach to hover properly because of all the stuff that's underneath the bed. That was underneath the bed. Now I just gave it a quick hovering. I didn't show the whole part. I mean, there's no need. It was hard to hover there anyway. And this is the after not a single thing on the floor not a single thing in the corner everything spotless apart from the window that has two baskets sewing kits and sewing machines what did you forget to say please subscribe yeah give us thumbs up because we did a lot of work yeah hit the notification bell too <laughs> bye bye